as we finally made it through what felt like the slowest quarter of 2024 quarter three we had some highs here and there and we had some lows here and there and when i say lows i mean some lows but we're gonna be talking about all the games we got from july to september so with all that said let's start off with july and a quick disclaimer before we begin i know i cannot develop any of these games so don't come in the comments with that argument this is all entertainment purposes only and props to the devs who actually tried to make a good game now to start off quarter three on july 2nd we got sft and if you know the sft lore this was a supreme the biggest grandiose disappointment of 2024 or honestly of all time everybody thought sft was gonna be some amazing rpg with good graphics good movement good fighting but based off of the running alone we should have seen something was up because that running was ugly now the combat animations were cool but the game was just honestly cooked from day one my boy was telling me that they didn't test the game the testers were just getting straight radio silence like the rest of the community and they started testing a day or two before release and after release they're like oh we were just messing around this is a fake release this is a pre-release don't do that bro if any game releases and says it's gonna be a release and y'all try to take back your word anime clash it's just gonna end up in flames but overall the game was just really bad and really buggy the pairing terrible hitboxes terrible and i'm sure there was many other issues and that's just why you don't test two days before the release of the actual game but then moving on four days later on july 6th we got hunter era now i heard people talking about a hunter hunter game i'm like oh yo we finna be eating good soon if y'all don't know that's my favorite anime i see the gameplay for this game and it wiped a smile clean off of my face and from the clear innovative exciting exhilarating gameplay that you're watching in the background right now you can tell that this game was hot dookie buns if you can imagine blocks fruits with hunter hunter but somehow worse you have this game right here this game reminds me of grimoire's era and grimoire's era was also a terrible bandit beater please developers don't give us any more of these because we do not want what you're cooking up but moving on further into the month because we honestly did not get a lot of games this month on july 25th we got a game named anime odyssey and if you don't know what this game is that's a good thing because it quickly shut down after the release for a great reason now this game was literally just anime adventures a one-to-one -one copy i'm sure they used the same file stolen assets i'm not even sure what they developed but it was mad buggy and they took it down and it's yet to be seen since that day now before y'all rush to the comments saying things like he credited the scripter in the description of the game i see that and that is not why i'm talking bad about the game i don't even care about the owner or anything like that i'm not hating on him he got that bag i'm hating on the community now y'all know i don't like tower defense games but i'm not hating on this game because it's a tower defense i'm hating on it because there's no way y'all let a straight one-to-one -one copy of anime adventures get 40,000 players because y'all want anime adventures back that badly now listen i didn't play prime anime adventures and when i played it i didn't like it because i genuinely just don't like td games don't hate on me for saying that i won't hate on you but there's no way now we're gonna let a dude steal some scripts like i said i know he credited the guy before so there's no bad blood there or whatever but there's no way y'all are fiending that much that y'all are going to get a copy to 40k instead of some people who actually work on a new tower defense game and just play theirs now me personally i don't want any tower defense to be played because that means that they're going to make more but at least play something sort of original before y'all play a one-to-one -one copy just because you want your og anime adventure days back but moving on from july which is clear to see that july was a horrible month for roblox anime we have august and i'm gonna be completely honest august had its gems here and there but starting off in august actually on august 3rd we got eternal battlegrounds now this had to be the weakest start to about any month ever in the history of roblox because if you thought sft was a weak start to a month i think eternal battlegrounds took it to a new level this game was supposed to release back in quarter one if you check my video you can see the receipts in that video and the game finally released in august no promotion 
he didn't have any content creators creating content besides like three people the only people who could test were content creators with a hundred thousand plus and if you think about it like that oh sure if a content creator with a hundred thousand hypes up your game sure it'll get some players in there but you still do need smaller content creators because not everybody's going to be watching the content creator with 100k plus and all promotion is good promotion i genuinely don't know what path he was trying to take this game on telling us it would release in quarter one the beginning of it and then it ends up releasing near the end of quarter three with no promotion at all there's no way he could have possibly expected the game to do well and that's not even including all the bugs the fact that it literally was just a battlegrounds with pairing and the reason battlegrounds games do good is because little kids can catch on they don't want none of that pairing in junk they just want the straight true combos fighting you can have your little ragdoll cancel here and there but after that ragdoll cancel you're catching these hands like never before but a day later after that disappointing release on august 4th we got a game named anime card battle and when i saw this game my boy yami was telling me to hop on his junk i'm like it's an rng but i'll give it a shot and yami if you're watching this specific part right now i have nothing nice to say about you or this game this really just shows you that developers can literally match anything together and y'all will still eat it up this game had like 5,000 players around release but it skyrocketed to 40k you had people playing it left and right even though the map had no work put into it every image in the game was created by AI the gameplay itself wasn't even exhilarating in any way shape form or fashion and the UI looks like it was put together by three toddlers sitting in their daycare room while instead of playing with toys they had computer lab time what was that comparison and what does that even mean bro but moving on past that date on august 10th we got the first good game of quarter three now this is gonna shock you because it's a battlegrounds game but we got realm rampage now if i'm gonna be completely honest with you you guys know the only battlegrounds game that i rock with besides realm rampage is jujutsu oh, shenanigans i'm not gonna go into detail if you want to see anything on that just watch the video you know what i'm saying it's up there it's free to watch and it's entertaining like usual but we got realm rampage which is literally just jujutsu shenanigans if it had the strongest battlegrounds combat now i'm gonna be completely honest with you i did like jujutsu shenanigans more than realm rampage for the sole fact that jujutsu shenanigans did it first and playing realm rampage sort of felt like playing jujutsu shenanigans all over again just with better graphics and if they tried harder and with more tryhards inside of the game but at the end of the day i still had a decent time it's all right but please don't make any more battlegrounds games up I'm tired of them. I don't care if you drop another Realm Rampage that's a step above the Realm Rampage we have today. I don't want it. I can't speak for everybody, but come on. Make an RPG with all this skill or something like that. Now, moving on two days later to August 12th, we actually have the game that you are watching right now, my brother. Now, it didn't publicly release, but the game I am talking about is Clover RPG and Clover RPG went into testing on August 12th. I don't even remember exactly how long testing was. All I know is you could only play if you were a content creator, you bought your way in, you knew the right people, or you won a giveaway or something along the lines of that. But this game actually felt like a real RPG. Now, the combat wasn't too smooth at times, but it was testing, but you know, it could still be like that on release. I'm gonna be completely honest, if they don't lock in, we've seen that in games before. But if they do lock in, make it feel smoother, then it's gonna be mad chill. And like I mentioned, it did feel like an actual RPG. You have miscellaneous quests here and there, doing all different types of stuff. And I rock with it heavy, but obviously it was lacking content because duh, it's testing. But by release, if they add a lot more things, I could go into detail about what they could add, but if they just add more elements to the game, it could feel like a full Roblox game. And we have not seen one of these in a minute, my brother. Imagine Deep Woken if it was Black Clover with Remorse. That's the best way to explain Clover RPG. Now they just gotta lock in through the rest of the path because they have potential on their hands with this one here. I'ma be completely honest with you. But moving on from August, which was honestly just an all right month, we have September and starting on September 6th, we got Heroes Online 2. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not pay to play this game because I was not going to pay to play this game. But from everything I've heard so far, this game is not good. Apparently it is just there for the nostalgia and back then when heroes online 1 was out okay those graphics were cool that type of game was good for that time but heroes online 2 in this era when we're waiting for games like holy war x rail seas grand clover junk like that heroes online is just not cut out to be a 2024 game 
Now, like I mentioned before, for nostalgia, sure, by all means, go play Heroes Online 2. But from everything I've heard, the game is just like Heroes Online 1. People waited all these years for a My Hero game and the sequel to Heroes Online 1 and basically got a Heroes Online 1.1. It really didn't change much. But in all seriousness, a true review of the game. Looks wise, the graphics are outdated. We can see that from a mile away. But I heard the gameplay was actually immersive and kind of fun. Now, I can't be a judge of that because I'm not spending 400 Robux to find out. But if you've played, let me know in the comments down below. And then moving on one day later, actually, on September 7th, we got Divas, Devas of Creation, however you pronounce it, in MMORPG. Now, I didn't see any issues with this game. It looked clean, it had cool features, it felt like an MMORPG. But most of the people playing the actual game came from the anime community. So it had about 70k players I heard, but the game fell off when anime vanguards came out because like I mentioned before, most of the people playing Divas, Devas, whatever, were from the anime community and the MMORPG community on Roblox is not that large i'm gonna be completely honest with you so when them anime people left it took a hit and it dropped to about 4k average now i'm not saying that's terrible but going from 70k peak to 4k that's kind of crazy but then moving on yet another singular day to september 8th we got my favorite game of all time man we got anime vanguards and y'all know how i feel about tower defense games and this game peaked at 300,000 players. I think, I'm gonna be completely real with y'all, I don't remember, but obviously, I did not boot up this game. Now, I did play one time actually, cause I gifted my boy the battle pass and that's all I've done on Anime Vanguards. I didn't look back, I'm not looking back, I'm not opening the game, and if y'all like it, good for you man. I'm not gonna hate on you, don't hate on me for not liking tower defense games, I just can't get behind them, I never will. Y'all can give me all these other types of games to play, I still won't like them. Anime Defenders, Anime Adventures, Anime Vanguards, Anime Last Stand. I didn't like a single one of them. Good time killers, but I just can never genuinely understand how people do enjoy these games. Now, if you have a YouTube video put up on the side, sure. If you're in a Discord call, just chilling with your boys, doing whatever, sure. If you're watching a movie, whatever it is, but if you're genuinely sitting down to play the game for excitement, bro, I just need to know how. I just need to know what. Gambling cannot be that fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can be exciting when you get something good in a game, but it's not exciting to a point where you gotta glaze the game and die behind the game because you just love the tower defense and you're actually kind of coping because you spent all that money on the game, so you kind of gotta glaze it until you die to defend the game. The owners do not know you, my boy. I'ma be real. But this game is no different than any other tower defense you have played, but like I always say, that's just my opinion. If you rock with it, that's chill. You still a human being even though you're not because who likes Todd? Nah, I'm playing. But still, if you rock with it, you rock with it. And if you don't, you don't. Now, before we move on to the final game of September and the final game of quarter three, we actually got to backtrack all the way back to September 6th because also on this day, we got Paradox Testing. Now, since I included Clover RPG Testing, I'm gonna have to include this one as well because I was low-key gonna wait till quarter four to drop the Paradox one because Paradox dropped October 4th, which is quarter four. You get the vibes, you get what I'm saying. But Paradox did go into testing on September 6th. Now, did I participate in this testing? For about 20 minutes, I did. And from my experience, I was mad laggy. The combat did not feel as good as it did in the very first Paradox test, and the game felt unoptimized. Now, I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek. For the actual release of Paradox, bro, I didn't wanna say this, but it wasn't the smoothest thing on planet Earth. It is very, very unoptimized and hueco mundo however you pronounce it i'm not gonna lie that map might need some fixing now the hollow models they do look unique they look different from the average hollow model but that fighting with hollows it's a little uh, i mean i don't really know how you make hollow fighting good until you actually become in the wrong card but that hollow fighting something's a little off about it and like i said it's unoptimized and the content in the game is lacking. I feel like they kind of released a little too early. I feel like the release was sort of rushed in a way because while Type Soul was down, it was prime time for them to steal the throne as the best Bleach game on Roblox. 
but they rushed it a little bit. I feel like if they had a few more months to handle the game and smooth it out, it could have been better, but Type Soul would have been open, so the Type Soul fans might have been on Type Soul, and Paradox wouldn't have got the attention. So I genuinely don't know, but I hope the best because the people on the dev teams, they my boys. I'm chill with them. You know what I'm saying? So I hope all is well and all works out in the future. But moving on to the final game of quarter three on September 27th, an old one came back out of the shadows. We got sorcery on Roblox yet again. Now, if y'all don't know the sorcery lore, the old owner was basically an insane 14, 15 year old. I can't remember. And basically he was scamming everybody saying you're going to have to pay again to play when the game reopens. And thankfully, the game got out of his grasp and there's a new owner and he had higher sights for the game. Also, Old Sorcery had a whole lot of stolen assets, a whole lot of drama, a whole lot of beef, a whole lot of stuff that doesn't matter now. Now, the new owner added new stuff into the game, like a sneaking feature. Some of the missions are unique and I low-key rock with that, but a lot of people have been hating on Sorcery in general. Now, me personally, I don't think there's a singular fun game on Roblox right now. I'll throw in and say Deep Woken because I know y'all Deep Woken fans are gonna get mad at me. But me personally, Sorcery's not bad, but it's also just not stellar. There's no game right now on Roblox that I genuinely want to hop on, play, and record content on. Now, I can't say for everybody else there's no fun games on Roblox because y'all might find something to enjoy. That's why I haven't been on Chord as much, that's why I haven't been on YouTube as much, and that's why I'm making an excuse right now. The reason I ain't been uploading right now is because I literally don't have time to but I'm gonna lock back in for y'all, or at least try. So hopefully a few fun games release. But Sorcery, in my opinion, it's not terrible. It's open for free right now if you have not tried it out. It's got like 20K, 30K averaging on it. I see no issue with Sorcery as of right now. The only thing I couldn't figure out how to do was actually progress, because I did the missions, but the curses I was going against were way more OP than last time. They were almost unbeatable. So I don't know if I have to go into open world, free roam kill some random curses or whatever for right now then do the missions because if you do the missions as a freshie my brother you're getting cooked unless you're a deep woken demon and i'm not but to close out the video quarter three was trash i mean what could we expect after seeing quarter one and quarter two if y'all remember martial academy a game that closed in quarter one it's quarter four and the game still isn't open they were supposed to open near the end of quarter one near the beginning of quarter two where is Marshall Academy? You know what I'm saying? I'll take that at this point. We have RLCs quarter four, hopefully, if they don't delay. And that's the only big game of the big three, big four, big five, whatever you want to say that got confirmed. And that might even get delayed. So we just got to hope for the best. Quarter four better not be mid or I'm going to lose it. You might not see me in 2025 on the Roblox platform. But I'm going to stop my yap and make sure to subscribe, like, turn on notice so you never miss a banger again. Because I'm locking back in and I'm not lying this time. But I'll catch y'all in the next one and have a great rest of your Saturday.